guys. So our goal at Shopify is to create a subtitle which will go immediately underneath this uh, title, uh, so between the title and the rating stars. Uh, for this purpose, uh, I'm proposed to get a sum of trick, uh, not to invent something that doesn't exist in Shopify, but uh, utilize a vendor field. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to, uh, to the store and go into the product pages here. Yep. On the product pages, uh, I want to go to, let me load that. Yeah, to the product pages by themselves. Sorry, to theme settings. Yep. And click products. Here I want to activate show vendor. Yep. Let me save it and refresh the page here. So as you can see here, this vendor information appeared just above the title. We want it to be under the title. Uh, in order to modify that, we want to go to uh, our online store, click it, then go to Actions and go into Edit Code. Uh, when the uh, appropriate page loads, we need to find a file called Product Template Dot Liquid. Product Dash Template Dot Liquid. So let me see, it's located under snippets here. Let me just type it product, product template. Here we are. Let me click it. And what we need to find now is the call of the field vendor. Okay, here is the guy. You see that it located just above the H2 product single title. So let me copy over this whole section, cut it from here, and paste underneath the title section. And let, let me, let's save it. Okay, asset saved. And let me go back to the live product page and refresh the page. Okay, perfect. So now it appears under the title. Now you'll ask me, okay, so I don't want uh, the same subtitle to appear on my every product page. Okay, well, let me show you the next step. So I'm going to this very product under all products, uh, open that product, and uh, under the vendor, I'm creating a new vendor field. So I have some vendors already pre-populated here, created, so I don't need them. Uh, what I want to write here instead is something like uh, your hair, because it looks shiny and healthy. Oh, sorry. And let me click add and save this product now let me go back to the live page and refresh it it may take a couple of moments to propagate across a shopify database but as you can see it appears here now you can go and add some maybe you want to customize that uh, and add some rules to the CSS file, but that's uh, that's absolutely different section. However, let me show you this. One second, please. So I'm in Firefox uh, developer browser. So let me go here and highlight it. Product single vendor, font size, let's, let's say I, I want to make it bigger. Yeah, it's all possible. So the code that is responsible for the customizing this is product single vendor. And if I copy it here, I can go back to uh, my theme, switch into theme.scss.liquid, which is my um, style file. And right there, I can paste it. And as you can see, I immediately found that 
and I can customize the rules here. Something like that. Hope it's helpful. Yeah, thank you for watching.